Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to show you how you can use thread pausing in RPCS3, the PlayStation 3 emulator, in order to boost your performance in-game and this can also in fact help with weird stuttery audio that some people on lower tiered CPUs or computers may be experiencing. Now before I actually load into game and show you exactly how to do this, I'm just going to first go over exactly what settings I use for Persona 5 since if I don't do that, you guys will all start asking me down in the comments anyway. Okay so first of all, let's come to Persona, right click and come to configure. As you can see, the settings I am using are I'm using a PPU decoder of LLVM recompiler, for SPU decoder I'm using ASM JIT recompiler. For preferred SPU threads, I am using two, since this is what makes the game run at the best performance on my specific computer. This will be different for you. I am only going to be loading these libraries right here. And as you can also see, I have also enabled thread scheduler and SPU loop detection. When I come to GPU, I am using Vulkan, I am using my 980 Ti. Uh, every other setting is, as you can see, I am using 16x anisotropic filtering. And I am also using a resolution scale of 150% bringing me up to a resolution of 1920 by 1080. Moving across to all of my other settings tab, you can see that basically all of these are just completely set to default. I do not have any specialized debug settings turned on. I only have the settings I have already shown you in a CPU and GPU. So let's just save my settings and actually load into game. So here we are loaded into game and as you can see in the top left hand corner of the RPCS3 window I have already enabled the 60fps patch. Now if you weren't aware recently there have been several improvements to this 60fps patch. I already did a video on it and if you want to find out how exactly to use that 60fps patch, the newest version of it, I will link that video down below for you to check out. Now as you can see I'm basically getting locked to 60fps at all times in this little small save room area. Uh, what I want to do is actually come outside to an area where I'm not going to be locked to 60 FPS. So let's actually just come out into the underground prison and we're going to take a look at performance out there. So as you can see in this small little cutscene between these armoured soldiers, we are in and around 39 to 42 or 43 FPS. What I want to do is actually get through this cutscene and I want to actually see what my performance is like when I'm actually running around inside of the game world. Okay, so now that we're actually in the game itself, you can see that I am in and around 40 to 44 FPS. I'm just going to run around a little bit and see what my performance is like. So I get 60 when I'm over here, and when I look down this way, this is probably my worst performing area in this dungeon at least. Okay, so I'm getting around 40, 45 FPS, and yeah, it's not too bad considering there are people out there who don't get anywhere near 30 and get 10 and 15 FPS. Okay, so let's actually get onto the thread pausing and the performance boosting. So you want to come to the actual GUI of RPCS3. I'm just going to put this up here so you can actually see the frame rate when we're doing this. You want to come to the view tab and you want to click show debugger. Now when you click this show debugger, it'll bring up all of this nonsense. Uh, you can ignore most of it, but what we're looking for is this little drop down menu right here. You are looking for your SPU threads. You should see you have six of them available regardless of what RPCS3 build you are using. So what we are going to be doing is we are going to be pausing a set amount of these SPU threads and when we pause them, we should see a small little bump each one we pause in our frame rate. So what we want to do is actually come to our SPU thread. We want to actually select it and as you can see, it is currently doing work. Now next, you want to come up to the top here and click pause. Now when I click pause it might actually freeze my game, so let's just click pause. And there you go, you can see that already my frame rate has already gone up 2 or 3 FPS. Now if the game pauses, um, all you'll have to do is click run and just click pause again and click run and pause until it doesn't freeze because it's just, it's just basically what happens. And this is exactly what you want to do as well if you have any weird audio. So let's come to our second SPU thread, let's once again click pause, you see it froze my game. I'm going to click run again, pause again, run, pause, run, pause, just stay doing this and you can see here, now it's paused and once again we got another performance boost. So we're now running between 46 and 48 instead of between 40 and 43 FPS. And this is exactly what you want to do with your SPU threads. All you want to do is you want to just pause between one and three of them and you are going to see a significant performance boost. So let's come to our third SPU thread. Let's just, collect, let's just select SPU thread two and we're going to be pausing this. 
you see it froze my game run pause and there you go you can see now we hit 50 fps so we are now running between 47 and 50 fps whereas before we paused any of our threads we were getting between 40 and 43 fps now basically if you pause over three spu threads you're actually going to start negatively affecting your performance in game and if you actually pause all of your spu threads the game will just stop emulating because it will just think that you, you've stopped all of the well you it won't think it'll know you've paused all the spu threads so it won't actually be rendering the game at all so you can see now that where previously we were dropping down to like 39 at the worst we are now dropping down to like 46 47 and it's a much much better and much more playable experience now this is exactly the same thing you want to do if you have any weird stutter or weird stuttery audio in any of your cutscenes or in game you basically want to do exactly the same thing you just want to pause your spu threads you just want to click run and pause and just do this until your your sound actually completely synchronizes and then you should absolutely be 100 percent ready to go and um, your performance should be slightly improved also you can also see here that when i pause an additional a fourth spu thread my performance actually dropped straight down into the 30s and when i re-enabled it it jumped straight back up between 46 47 and 50 fps so yeah guys that's about it for this little instructional video on rpcs3 and persona 5. now i know for a fact that the reason we have to do this thread pausing well we don't have to do it but the reason that you can get performance increases when you do this thread pausing is because there is currently a little bug in the spu loop detection feature of rpcs3 and once they actually fix that bug we will no longer need to do this thread pausing in order to increase our performance and fix our stuttery audio as the emulator itself should automatically do it so hopefully once they fix that we won't need to do this anymore but until they do you can use this little thread pausing trick to improve your performance so yeah guys once again cheers for checking out the video as always remember to like it if you liked it dislike it if you didn't if you need any further help with any features of rpcs3 or any other emulators that i've covered on the channel you can head on over to my discord server that will be linked down in the description if you also want to help support the channel in any way you can do so by heading on over to my patreon and pledging to support the channel over there and as always subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me